Alright, so Razer has been on a roll at this year's CES, but this time they are going directly after Logitech's Lightspeed wireless mouse technology with a version of their own called Hyperflux, and from our perspective, they might actually have the better solution. Why? Because unlike the PowerPlay ecosystem, the Mamba Hyperflex wireless mouse and Firefly Hyperflex mouse pad don't even require heavy battery. The power from the mat is transferred directly to the mouse. We went for a hands-on demo in Razer Suite, so let's go to that right after a message from our sponsors. Our 2018 CES coverage is brought to you by Fantex, Corsair, and Cooler Master. When we reviewed PowerPlay last year, it was obvious that Logitech had developed something quite unique, but in some ways, it still felt like a first-generation device. The mouse itself was a bit heavy for our liking, and there were a few other quirks with the wireless charging technology that prevented the system from offering a seamless experience. Razer thinks that they have solved almost all the problems associated with those first-generation attempts by creating a technology that projects a magnetic field from the mouse pad and into the mouse. Supposedly, this technology is the world's first to provide power directly to the mouse and eliminates the need for a battery. The first mouse being outfitted with Hyperflux is Razer's Mamba, and nothing has changed from this peripheral's overall design. It has a 5G optical sensor capable of delivering a true DPI of up to 16,000, nine programmable buttons, uh, and will only come in a right-hand format with side rubber grips. As with every other higher-end mouse these days, it comes with RGB lighting uh, that can be controlled through Razer's Streamline Snap software. Also, if you wanted to use the Mamba Hyperflex off its charging mat, uh, there's also a handy 2.1 meter cable uh, to game in wired mode. The Firefly Hyperflex mouse mat feels like Razer's other high-quality mats, except this one has, you guessed it, RGB lighting. Because why not? It has dual reversible hard and cloth mouse mats, but remember that this will be required for wireless charging of compatible mice. After using this combo for a little while, it was so hard to distinguish the Mamba Hyperflux from the standard Mamba. This is exactly what Razer is trying to achieve too. They wanted a true wireless experience without a battery and without any interruptions. There really weren't any hiccups, but I do have some concerns about the long-term effects of exposure to a low-level magnetic field, both for myself and other electronic devices near the mouse pad. As a matter of fact, Razer recommends that you not place a smartphone on the pad's surface. The Hyperflex setup isn't cheap either. Remember, this thing is cutting-edge technology that may be blazing a new path for less expensive peripherals. You'll end up paying a cool $250 for the Mamba slash Firefly combo when it's launched in Q1 of 2018. Like every year, I think that Razer has one of the most interesting showcases at CES. With Project Linda, the new Nomo speaker lineup, and now Hyperflex, 2018 will be a really interesting year for them in many ways. This is Ebert with Hurricane X and our coverage from CES 2018 will continue.